My name is Carl. Today we're going to be talking about the hydroponics. Plants need sun, water, and nutrients from the ground. Hydroponics is a process of growing plants without needing soil. Hydroponic growing is better than traditional growing for many reasons. Hydroponic plants grow faster and bigger and appear to be more healthy. It needs 90% less water than soil planting. You can also grow all winter inside the house, school, or wherever. You can grow four times the amount of crops in space as soil. It can be set up anywhere around in the house. Let's go check out our hydroponics in the basement. Before we go see the hydroponic system in my basement, my dad wants me to talk about how growing hydroponically is more sustainable. Being sustainable means that we are careful about living in a way that will allow future generations to be happy and healthy like many of us today. This means using resources in a way that is not harmful to our planet. I already said that hydroponics uses about 90% less water than traditional agriculture. Saving water is good because we are using more water than our planet can provide for us. Using half of the water we use in America goes to crop-based agriculture. We also don't spray our hydroponic greens with pesticides, herbicides, or any chemicals. This is healthier for our bodies. Also, the electricity that is that we use for our hydroponic system comes largely from our solar panels and is not coal burning power plants. Solar energy is renewable energy and therefore is sustainable, meaning good for our planet. This is the hydroponic garden. These plants are two weeks old. These plants are six weeks old. In two more weeks, there's we can pick them out and eat them. Do you want to see how the roots grow? Yes, please. All right. Hello. This is how the roots grow. White, beautiful. Okay, stellen wir die Pflanze hin. Hier unten hin. Das. We'll put that plant back in in a moment. Let's take a look at the nutrient container. Yeah, let's take a look at the nutrient container. This is the nutrient container. The pump makes the nutrients go up into the tower and goes down, as you see here. Then, when the nutrient hits the bottom, it goes back into the pump and into the nutrient into the nutrient container. Do we have to put new water in every day? No, not every day. Every three weeks. Okay, so when we flush out the nutrient and put new nutrient in the system, what are the two things we have to test for? We have to test for pH. Okay, so we want to keep the pH. Regular rain water is about 4.8 and our water out of the faucet is about 7.4. And what we want to do is we want to keep the pH around 5 to 6.5. And what that means is the plants like their nutrient solution to be uh, acidic. That means anything below 7.0 is acidic. Anything above 7.0 is basic. So the plants like acidic nutrient, which means that the concentration of hydrogen ions is greater. That's what acidic means. All right. What else are we testing? We're testing for nutrients. We're testing for nutrients. So optimally, we want for lettuce around 1,200 parts of nutrient per 1 million parts of water. So there's a lot more water molecules than nutrient in this solution. 
Let's talk a little bit about how many plants we can grow and what type of plants we grow in this system. All right, so in this system here, we can grow 151 plants. How many lettuces do we pull out every week to eat? Every week, we pick out 22 lettuces per week. And what do we put in the space? after we take out the plant. New, new plants. New plants, new baby plants, like we just put in these little baby plants today. And in six weeks, they're gonna be whole heads of lettuce that we could eat. Let's take a look at the herbs. So we have a bunch of herbs. This one here, Carl. This is Swiss chard. Uh huh. This is basil. No. No. No, it's kale. Kale. Yeah. Collard greens. Collard greens. More kale. Kale. Dill. Dill. Basil. This is Italian basil. And Thai we have basil. Thai basil. This is parsley. Parsley. And And that's our cilantro. Cilantro. And this is our lettuce. Lettuce. Vertical tower hydroponics. One thing we didn't talk about is the lighting. Alright. Talk about the lighting, Carl. Lighting is LED. Mm -hmm. Which means it's basically better, better than, than using energy using than energy. regular incandescent bulbs. And how often, how long do these lights run per day? These lights run 16 hours a day. 16 hours a day, and then the plants go to sleep. And then how often does the pump run? Does it run all day long? No. No. 30 minutes. 30 minutes on. And 15 minutes on. And 50 minutes, 15 minutes off. And the last thing we have. Is the air fan. Is the air fan. And what does the air fan do? Air fan. It's basically the same thing as the wind, but it's a little bit less strong. Okay, so why do we need a fan? We need a fan to air circulate the plants. Right, because the way the leaves and the plants get their nutrients from the water is through the roots. And so using water, they carry the nutrients from the roots to the leaves where they use the nutrients for photosynthesis to create energy for the plant to grow. Yep. So the water then takes the nutrients from the roots up through the leaves and the water leaves out of the bottom part of the leaf. And so that's why we need the fan running to help circulate the air to move that uh, carbon dioxide, I'm sorry, the oxygen, they take in carbon dioxide and they release oxygen through photosynthesis. So we need to help move the oxygen out of the way so that more water could be brought up through the leaves. And that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching.